Hello, my name is Stefan Meyer. I'm from Comtech in Uingen, Germany, and today I would like to show you our new DaisyNet system. Our DaisyNet system is a HD based T based uh, product to transmit signals over the HD based T bus. So, what we can see here, the first thing here is my laptop. This is the first source. We have a HDMI cable here. This is the white one, and it goes to our transmitter of the system. The transmitter has several input ports. First one is the HDMI. We have a display port here and we have a VGA plus analog audio and at the front here we have additional Ethernet connection. On the right side we have a show me button which we can use to cycle through the inputs and the green Phoenix connector here can be used to connect the external switch for the show me button. Uh, the next one here is the EDID settings and the RS232 interface can be used for controlling the device which, in, which of the inputs it will be used or for updating the firmware and doing other setup things. The box has a HD -based T input port on the left side and an output port on the right side and at the moment we are going over the CAT cable here to the next box and maybe I can make like this otherwise my PC will go off. Um, then we have uh, the next receiver. At the moment it's connected to the Blu-ray player. And we have another one. And this is the second device from the DaisyNet system. It's the receiver of the system. You can, add, you can add as many receivers and as many transmitters as you wish to the system. And you can always have 100 meters in between the boxes. So you can make a really large system to connect all the signal cables. Well, at the moment we have here a HDMI cable which runs over to the Panasonic projector. The projector is a VW431D projector with a HD base T input port. At the moment, um, the HD base T input port is not connected. You can also use this port just for Ethernet connection or for HD base T. So, what I'm going to show you now. We take the HD base T cable here and plug it into our DAISY net system. So, next step, we remove the HDMI cable here and see what happens. So, the cable is not plugged in, and you can see the projector is now going to cycle through the different input ports. Now, it's the video port, S video. And now to digital link. And what we can see is my laptop. Digital link is a synonym from Panasonic for HD base T port. So at the moment we don't have HDMI, HDMI connected. We are only running over the HD base T connection. What we now can do, we can not only have the picture here, we can also do some other cool things. I will show you on my laptop here. I have created a small control app which uses uh, Piche Link. I'm connected with the blue cable uh, to the DaisyNet system and over the HD base T bus to the projector. So when I run this application, it needs a second. Then you can see in the background we have the uh, PJ Link connection and now I can use my mouse and use this button to switch between the sources. As you remember on the HDMI at the moment there is no signal so when I press this button here then you can see the projector switches to HDMI and when I press the HD base T button again it switches back to the digital link and we will have my laptop on the screen again. The small gap between the displays is the normal copy protection, the hardware handshaking. Um, this cannot be reduced, this is HDMI based. To, um, the switching of the signal sources, um, when you have a look here, to switch to the, when we look at the screen and at the device here, when I press the show me button here, then a red light turns on here and this HDMI signal will now be transmitted to the screen. If I press a second time, 
The light goes on on the display port, there is nothing connected so we don't see anything. We have the VGA port and when we press again it switches back to HDMI and we have the signal here again. Or we go back to this box here, press the button here and then we have the laptop on the screen. 